Hey, welcome back to Jace Two Cents, and if you've been following me long enough, you know that I am an avid water cooler. And one of the things that people complain about with water cooling is just how expensive it is. And there's one company out there that's really trying to make a change in the market and the way that we think with manufacturing to bring down the price of water cooling. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a water block for a graphics card from AlphaCool. And specifically, this is for the Titan. And no, I don't have a Titan. They didn't send me the Titan with the card. Jerks. Then anyway, today we are specifically going to be, and I have to read this because this is probably the longest name for any product in history. It is the AlphaCool Nexus NVXP NVIDIA GTX 780 Titan Stainless Steel Polish Clear Water Block. Holy crap. That probably just took up my entire video's length of time to say the name. But the point is, AlphaCool is trying to make a change with the manufacturing process of graphics cards, uh, water blocks, uh, to try and bring down the price. Now, full cover water blocks typically are just that. They're a solid piece of aluminum or a solid piece of copper that covers the entire block. And there's a channel milled into that and it touches different parts of the block that it wants to cool. Whether that be the VRMs, the GPU, the maybe the, uh, the uh, VRAM. So it's gonna touch these different components, absorbing heat and the water is gonna take the heat away. Now the problem is, there's a lot of wasted metal in there. There's pieces of metal that are just off to the side and not doing anything because the heat doesn't absorb through the entire copper block. It just absorbs through the hot spots on the block where it's actually touching these components that it's cooling. And I just did a whole lot of, you know, Wang Chung Kung Fu hand movements there, but I'm a very visual person. Bear with me. I, I talk with my hands. So anyway, what AlphaCool has done and we're using this block as a demonstration. I'm not gonna be doing any cooling comparisons, comparisons with it because I don't own a Titan. So, sorry about that. Inside, you have here the water block. We'll get back to that in a second. And in true alpha cool fashion, a lot of copper hardware. And of course, included with it is thermal paste. It's not branded, don't know whose it is, but there is thermal paste. And of course, your installation guide. That's all that's in the box. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Now, here is the block, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go on out there on a limb and say I do not personally like the aesthetics of this block, but it does come in a black version as well that looks a whole lot better uh, than this one. I don't like the, the, the clear plastic like this. But what's important about this is the way that the block is manufactured and that instead of having a single piece of metal, You've got these discs in here that are pressed into injection molded plastic. Now, a lot of water blocks are half plastic. My water block that I use on my 680 is half plastic. You've got the solid metal piece and then an acrylic piece that sandwiches it together to form the path. But the point is, they can pre-manufacture these discs. Discs. And very clear, I said discs. And what they can do is have thousands and thousands of these sitting on a shelf ready to go. And when they get a new water block or a new graphics card, they can take the card, they can uh, get a machine tooled up, injection mold the path, and then they press in these discs. So what does that allow them to do? It keeps the cost down because you don't have a solid piece of metal that costs a lot more to manufacture than just these circular discs here that are about, I don't know, this long, maybe a half inch long at least but they can uh, get products developed for new graphics cards much sooner because typically it takes weeks, sometimes even months, to get graphics card water cooling blocks when new cards come out. And if you're like me, I never buy a brand new card when it launches because I water cool everything and I don't have water blocks available to me. So they can get product out much faster by using this technique. Now, uh, AlphaCool did test this on a Titan at a LAN event you know, for an entire weekend of lots and lots of gaming and the temperatures were absolutely fantastic. I mean, they were down into the 40s on a Titan and that's pretty insane. But as you can see right here, aesthetics, you can work on aesthetics, right? I mean, this is, aesthetics are nothing more than personal preference and I don't like the aesthetics of the top piece, but what I'm definitely interested in is the technology here making it cheaper for you to get graphics card water blocks that do the job and at a much faster pace than you can do with traditional full cover water blocks. 
So head on over to Aquatuning's website, check this product out just for the sake of uh, learning about it. Because if you are a water cooler like me and you are interested in water cooling, they are really looking at bringing down the way that manufacturing is done to make things a lot cheaper for you and me. And that is certainly something we should all be interested in. So guys, what do you think about this new technology? What do you think about the, the press disc you know, format there of just touching the specific spots that you want to cool and having the water run directly over those discs, discs to absorb all of the temperatures? So I think it's cool. I wish I could test it, but I don't have a Titan to test it on. Wink, wink. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here, guys. It's holiday season. I'm trying to bring you a lot of videos to uh, give you guys ideas on what maybe you want to buy for your custom gaming PCs. And if you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see, definitely let me know. Hit me up on all of the social media stuff that's going to be popping up somewhere. And I'll see you guys in my next video.